The exhibition came about from um, d collaborating with Veals, who's a Portuguese artist, and he, I was a fan of his stuff and he was a fan of mine, and somebody brought us together, and so we collaborated with me DJing at his, his, his art festivals, and then me using some of his visuals in my show, and so we kind of, we've become friends, and he owns a studio, owns a, a gallery in Lisbon, and just offered it to me, he said, you know, do you want the gallery for a month? What would you do in it? Being involved in something that I've, you know, I've been a fan of art and of I'm a collector and been on the other side of the fence. But now to be involved and in working with artists rather than just being fanboy, I now kind of feel that we're kind of collaborating, uh, which is great because I can't draw and I've, I'm colorblind, so I could never be an artist. So it's me sort of realizing my dreams of hanging out in the art world. Yeah, I mean, every generation rediscovers it either as a fashion icon or a slightly political statement. There's a lot of ironic uses of it, you know, taking the most sinister, um, sinister, putting it in the most sinister environments. Uh, I mean, obviously the Watchmen film, that was a, that kind of, re so I mean, every it's a bit, it's a bit like the Hawaiian shirt. It's never quite in fashion, but it always just comes around again. It's, it's, it, it, it's, it's never out of fashion.